Joining us live via Skype is health expert Flora Mwagagbo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So far, how will you access the government's fight against COVID-19, especially with uh, cases of now people leaving isolation centers? Well, um, so far, the government is, has done quite a good job, I must say, um, especially in Lagos. Um, there's been quite a lot of awareness. And um, as you can see, we're having a lot of people recovering. Um, other states are picking up, I guess. Um, regarding the person who um, left the isolation center, I'm aware, well, at least I saw today that uh, the person has been found. Um, it's not unusual to have people leave um, treatment facilities or, you know, isolation centers. It's not unusual. Many people, even for less significant illnesses, tend to run away from the facilities because um, of many reasons. Could be mates, could be they're not comfortable where they are or they don't believe they have the, the, the infection, the disease. So it's not unusual. It's just the ability of the system to keep people, help people understand why they need to be there and then to keep them within the facility. Will it be going against the law to ask that these people are confined, considering that this is a purely unknown situation? We know that your irresponsibility is another person's problem. So can't there be something that we can do to keep these people in isolation centers? Um, well, in situations like this, um, I guess the policies, I mean, the, 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 the existing laws, and right now we currently have, for instance, in Lagos, we have the infection, um, the IPC policy that came out, the infection control policy. So in certain situations like this one, really, people can be constrained to stay within the um, facilities that are earmarked to prevent the general public from harm. So, yes, it is possible. What worries you the most about the number of cases we seem to be having? It is increasing. Um, yes, it is increasing. And um, what worries me the most is the fact that um, it's increasing, yet um, we, in my opinion, we are still not testing enough, not necessarily because um, the state, I, and I'll say Lagos State, which, is, which right now happens to be like the pace setter, not necessarily because the state is not trying to test, but I think there are some um, constraints within the system. Um, I know that there are efforts to expand testing sites and get more test kits. And I believe that when we actually start actively testing um, people, we will have more cases. In fact, now that the testing um, algorithm has um, increased, the case definition has, has been expanded to in, in, include um, people who are symptomatic and are residing in areas of prevalence, high prevalence, um, you will find that the number will increase. But honestly, when we begin to increase our testing, we're likely to see a surge in number of cases. Uh, what would you say to people that are at home now and anxious and getting antsy about being indoors for so long? <sighs> well, we're all indoors. We're anxious for many reasons. People, Some people are anxious because they are not able to make their daily wage, which is very valid. Um, but... Um, I, I will say that we we this is a tough time for everybody, maybe more for some than others, but we, we, we need to try to do what we can within whatever constraints we have. But we all, there's also a place, a role for, for the authorities to see how they can help those who are really, really in a tight spot, especially those whose daily income is suffering. So, and then for those who are within confinement, maybe isolation or quarantine because of the illness, then they also need to have the hope that, look, this is going to be over soon if they take the necessary precautions and then do what needs to be done. And of course, protect their family members. Thank you very much, Doctor, for sharing your time with us. Thank you.